Hey everyone, how you doing? So I've had a few people ask how I connect my computer to my Atomstack laser engraver through Wi-Fi. And if you have an Atomstack laser engraver that has the built-in Wi-Fi, like the X20, the S20, the A20, and there's others also. If you've got the little Wi-Fi antenna, you have built-in Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you how you can connect your computer and control it through Wi-Fi so you don't have to have a USB cord hooked to it. Now my laser uh, engraver is out in the garage, my computer's here in the office and the first thing I had to do is, well fir first thing you have to make sure that your computer is Wi-Fi enabled. Now my computer was not. I'm connected straight to the, uh, my network with a uh, uh, with a hard wire with a cord uh, RJ45 connector so I went and I bought just a USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter plugged it into the uh, USB port and right now my laser engraver is not on so if I click down here you can see all the networks that it's picking up but none of them is a laser engraver. So, we gotta go out in the garage. So I'm just gonna turn the laser engraver on. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that right now there are no files on the memory card. So right now there's nothing this thing can, can burn. So now that this is on, you can see the little Wi-Fi antenna. If your laser engraver has the Wi-Fi antenna, then you have Wi-Fi. Now let's go back in the house. Now when I click down here, it should show me a laser engraver right here. Now, I don't know if all the uh, SSIDs are going to be engraver underscore 23630, but you should at least have a, an engraver uh, SSID pop up here. So I'm just going to click it. Uh, now I've connected to this before so it's not going to ask me for the password but the pass the default password for these engravers is one two three four five six seven eight so I'm going to hit connect and then I'll go through its motions and it will uh, finally connect up and then I'll show you where you get the address that you have to have to be able to connect uh, to the engraver Okay, now, and this is normal if it says no internet secured, that's, that's perfectly normal because the laser engraver is a hotspot. So now this computer is connected to that laser engraver. So there's not going to be, obviously, internet. We're just connected straight from the computer straight to the uh, laser engraver. Now, if you come down here to your network and internet settings and you click that, you come up here and where it says Wi-Fi engraver, you click properties. If you look right here, the IP, IPv4 DNS servers, and this has got a 192.168.4.1, that's the address right here that you're going to need to connect to your laser engraver. And all you do, just copy that. I've actually made a shortcut right here on my desktop. So I'm just going to double click that and there it is. So you can see right up here that that's that address 192.168.4.1. This is the built-in uh, web UI that Atomstack has in that laser engraver. And right here you can home it, you can set your position, uh, you can turn the light on, turn the light off. When I say light, the laser. Um, you can set your speed. Uh, 
control it with your with your controls right here. Right here's the, the memory card uh, or SD file upload and management utility. So right now, if I wanted to uh, upload something through this, I would go over here. Uh, we'll just select this one right here. The circle cut. And now it just uploaded to the engraver. Um, you can also go right here. It's got a bunch of settings that you can adjust. Okay. Got language. Of course, I've got it set to English. And then about, this is the uh, firmware version board version uh, here's the web UI you can update the web UI if you had a updated if Adam stack was to ever come out with an updated uh, uh, UI uh, program then you could download it and update it through this but uh, anyway that's it so now just to show you and I'm trying to do this without turning the camera off at all just so you know that there's no trickery Oh, I accidentally hit the button in the garage. So now if I come over here, I'm going to go back, then I'm going to go back to carve, and now you see circle cut. So now I, uh, the way I do it is I you know, select it, then I just coming off this control panel, I go ahead and you know, hit, set the position, uh, set frame, or not set frame, but frame it, and then I'll hit go, and hit yes, and uh, let it do its, its thing. But that's how I use mine, because I don't, obviously I've got my laser engraver out here in the garage. I do all my computer stuff in, in my office. But if you had a laptop sitting right here next to it, you wouldn't have to worry about a USB cable going to the laptop if you, if you didn't want that. Now, it would be real nice if light burn, let me turn this noise maker off, it'd be real nice if light burn uh, finally updated their program to where light burn could connect through Wi-Fi and you could control everything that you could control through USB using light burn you could do through Wi-Fi. That would be the ultimate uh, light burn update in my opinion. But as of right now, uh, this is the way you've got to do it. You can control everything through the Atom Stack uh, program through the web UI. And the way I operate it is I just send the file to the memory card through the Wi Fi. Then I come out here, I'll position it, frame it, and I'll, you know, start it. And then I'll go back in the house. Um, I do have a, a Wi Fi camera too that I'll set up so that every now and then if it's going to be a long burn. I can uh, just watch it on that camera to make sure that everything's going okay. But anyway, that's that's all you got to do. Uh, very easy. But I've seen a lot of people in the forums asking how to connect uh, their system to the Wi-Fi and control it. And this is how you do it. Anyway, that's it. Hope this helps someone. You guys take care.